Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Uncrewed, Lilium Technology Demonstrator Achieves Milestone. One man engages in private air war on crime. And USAF eyeing long endurance for recon. Hi, I'm your host, Holland Lee. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Uncrewed program, a weekly news program covering all things uncrewed, in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Uncrewed Vehicle Systems International. Let's get into today's stories. Lilium Technology Demonstrator Achieves Milestone. Lilium GmbH, the German aerospace company developing the VTOL Lilium jet, announced that its technology demonstrator, Phoenix 2, has achieved main wing transition, which is to say the aircraft successfully transitioned from hover to wingborne flight. From a physics and aerodynamic perspective, transition entails the transference of lift from vertical engine thrust to horizontal laminar relative wind flow over the test vehicle's wings. Lilium's achievement marks the first instance of a full-size electric jet aircraft achieving main wing transition, a landmark for both Lilium and electric aviation as a whole. Lilium states Phoenix 2 developed aerodynamic across its entire main wing while remaining both stable and within control parameters predicted by the company's proprietary flight dynamics model. Lilium co-founder and Phoenix program chief engineer Matthias Miner said of the successful test, quote, Main wing transition is a huge step forward on our path to launch, and it validates our flight dynamics model, end quote. Lilium will continue its flight test campaign throughout the summer, expanding the Phoenix 2's flight envelope further, including transition of the forward canards and high-speed flight. And after these messages, Walmart drone-ups to your door. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. In the next Uncrewed Minute, let's take a look at some shorter stories making the rounds of the Uncrewed vehicle communities. Walmart drone ups to your door. Walmart is expanding its drone delivery service with the help of drone up across six states this year to bring convenience to customers. Those pilot states include Arizona, Arkansas, Florida, Texas, Utah, and Virginia. They've been working on this solution over the past year, and customers' orders weighing no more than 10 pounds can be delivered for a delivery fee of $3.99. It's expected that some 30-odd sites will be in operation by the end of the year. Boeing Starliner Returns Despite Hiccups The Boeing Starliner CST-100 returned to Earth last week, landing at the White Sands Missile Range in New Mexico. While the return landing was textbook, its trip to the ISS wasn't entirely without issue. Apparently on its way to the ISS, two of its main thrusters went offline per sensor data, but backups kicked into gear and it was on its merry way. And again problems arose when the CST-100 got close to the ISS, two positioning thrusters that were to assist in docking with the spacecraft also had problems. U.S. Senate offers support for aviation infrastructure. U.S. Senators Alex Padilla of California and Jerry Moran of Kansas introduced bipartisan legislation for the Advanced Aviation Infrastructure Modernization Act to help communities prepare and pave the way for the eventual integration of advanced air mobility technologies. 
The AAM has the potential to revolutionize the way people and cargo move within and between communities, complementary to existing transportation networks, and creating an expansive future for aviation. Aero TV at AUVSI 2022, Camaris Seeker UAV. Mr. Fred Bedard, Director of Sales Marketing and Flight Operations at Camaris, spoke with ANN midway through AUVSI 2022 about the Seeker. So its mission is those applications that require uh, a long flight time, three plus hours of flight time, carries a payload of uh, six and a half, seven pounds, and its mission is basically a law enforcement surveillance inspection pipeline, rail line, oil, gas lines, and so forth. Check out one of our many Expo video programs at aero-news.net. And that was our Uncrewed Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. One man engages in private air war on crime. A Seattle man is using ingenuity and aviation technology to fight the rampant crime and worsening lawlessness afflicting his hometown. Angry and disgusted after having his car broken into and his trailer stolen, Tony, a 39-year-old husband and father, began seeking means by which to locate his purloined property. His search led him to a Facebook group called Pacific Northwest Stolen Cars, a forum in which victims of theft share information pertaining to their stolen property in hopes of recovering it. Tony's discussions with the group alerted him of an encampment underneath the First Avenue Bridge in Seattle's Georgetown neighborhood, just a few hundred meters north of the BFI Northfield boundary. The area is known as a de facto chop shop where people illegally deconstruct cars for purpose of selling their parts, and homeless people use illicit drugs in plain sight. Quote, it's just a big open piece of land. It's completely taken over with trailers and cars and trash. Lots of trash. Absolutely disgusting, end quote, Tony said after flying his drone over the area. Tony has since flown his drone over the area on multiple occasions in search of stolen property. To date, he's helped two people recover stolen vehicles. And after the break, USAF eyeing long endurance for recon. A diamond aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit flyskyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Welcome back. USAF eyeing long endurance for recon. In fall of 2021, Platform Aerospace launched its modified VA-001 Vanilla UAV above Edwards Air Force Base in California. This flight for 8 days and 50 minutes and 47 seconds across 12,200 miles of continuous flight set a world record for Group 3 Ultra Long Endurance UAS and also piqued the interest of the United States Air Force. Lieutenant Colonel Adam Brooks, Emerging Technologies Combined Test Force Director, is on record as stating that, quote, while the world record is exciting in and of itself, it is more important that we realize what this endurance ability means for our joint services who need persistent ISR capabilities immediately, end quote. Intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance is the capability for gathering data on a persistent or event-driven basis to then process, exploit, and support decision makers. Kurt Parsons, CEO of Platform Aerospace, stated that their, quote, goal is to get a low-cost, ultra-long endurance ISR asset to the warfighter that can carry real mission payloads, end quote, and that the record-setting unit, quote, costs less than DOD pays for some ordnance, end quote. 
Furthermore, he's hopeful of the opportunity to provide a system with, quote, drastically reduced manning and logistics cost, end quote. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.